So I assume we have a lot of Gen Zers in here as well. Things have changed. That narrative we've all been told to follow, go to school, get a job, buy a house, start a family, and then maybe be happy. Well, that narrative has been broken. The system is always trending towards disorder, and uh, there's just no escape. Gen Z has been subject to a lot of trauma. They seem to have lost their social skills. From the rise of the digital world to countless government failures and a complete shutdown of society, you are left with millions of people that are lost, lonely and hopeless with no future to strive for. More and more people suffer from isolation and loneliness. Depression has almost become normalized. This isn't a story of politics, agendas, or reformation. Apparently, Gen Z is like aging really rapidly. Rather yeah. one of Gen Z being a failed generation. Are people just okay with the way that the economy is right now? Young people have no hope of ever getting a home. For you to even start to understand Gen Z, you have to understand their biggest influence, and thus none other than the rise of technology and the internet. One site that's gaining enormous popularity is YouTube. Some people might just like having a bunch of things going on at the same time to fill their attention spans. Children all over the country are glued to different screens playing Fortnite. Skibbity <laughs> Fortnite! Skibbity, skibbity Fortnite! You Not this shit again! a group of people being raised when the whole world is changing around them. Gen Z, or Generation Z, is comprised of those born between the years 1997 and 2012. Though often referred to as a time of crisis, from the millennium, to the global financial crash, to the supposed end of the world. They base this on interpretations of the Mayan calendar. These years instead brought some of the most impactful revelations. From the smartphone, to widespread home- Why is that water so dirty? End like, of I'm, the world. I'm... They base this on interpretations of the Mayan calendar. These years instead- Like, oh my god, 2012, man. Holy shit. Why the fuck is that dirty so water, man? Like, I know it's completely off topic, but that water, it looks like fucking mud. What the fuck is that? That is so disgusting. Fucking 2012, man. The world. They base this on interpretations of the Mayan calendar. These years instead. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, I can actually say something regarding this as well. Um, when 2012 happened, I remember like, um, not really a friend of my mom's, but like an associate, like a Facebook friend of my mom's then. We got so scared of 2012, like that the world would end. Uh, and she, she took her children and drove away. She left the country, like... <laughs> Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? If the world's ending, what's leaving the country gonna do? Where the fuck are you going to, bitch? Some of the most impactful revelations from the smartphone to widespread home internet and social medias like Facebook, YouTube and Instagram. Now you ask, why is this relevant? Gen Z was born into the tech boom. People now had infinite access to global communication and information all from their pocket. At first glance, innovation seems harmless, but need I restate, an entire generation didn't get to see these changes as innovations, but rather as the norm. Gen Z has grew up doing everything on screens, from messaging friends to watching videos, playing games, dating, recording their lives, and even going as right? far as building their very identity and beliefs. recording their lives and even going as far as building their very identity and beliefs. I'm part of the problem. Chet. I'm sorry. I'm part of the problem. Matrix is real. <laughs> they will try to silence me. You see, what at first was a novelty soon became a dependency. People weren't just playing on their Nintendo DS for 15 minutes a day. They were now hooked on their devices. The bleak reality is we are in what I would refer to as the digital dark age. Gen Z is violently addicted to their phones, video games and adult content. They resort to short term pleasures to distract them from their depressing realities. People have became so hooked they are often on their phones for 10 plus hours a day. No better thanks to short form content, dopamine hooks and addictive algorithms. The ability to build social profiles has fueled collective narcissism and need for self status among young people as everyone actively tries to make their lives seem better online. Social media has completely destroyed
I was muted. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, chat. <Jeff>. Thanks. <laughs> I was asking who here still uses Instagram, man. Like... I I don't. I quit Facebook. I quit Instagram now. I use Snapchat for like the shortest period ever, like maybe a month or two. I just it's just so unneeded. It's banned here anyway. Wait, where do you live that it's banned? What the fuck? I'll hit you up on Snap again. No, Sam, stop! I'm <laughs> Snap. I literally have Snapchat uninstalled. <laughs> I'm literally not using Snapchat! <laughs> Russia? Oh, shit! ...destroyed the attention span of Gen Z, with people unable to focus on a video for more than a second. Oh my god, I can feel my... <laughs> what? What the subway sofa right next to it? <laughs> not the subway sofa right next to it! Gen Z. With people unable to focus on a video for more than a second. <laughs> I can feel my brain tingling to get a glimpse of my phone. This has been worsened Russia by Gen Z too? unable wow. to complete everyday tasks like walking or eating without music or family guy funny moments playing. <laughs> this is no exaggeration and in fact it's a heavy underplay. This whole phenomena is described as brain rot. Yeah! It's so overstimulating it might as well be rotting your brain. Level 5 got Riz, Livy done rizzing up baby Gronk, Ice Spice what the dog doing, skibbity toilet in real life only in Ohio. What did you just say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> so overstimulating, it might as well be rotting your brain. Level 5 got Riz, Livy done rizzing up baby Gronk, Ice Spice what the dog doing, skibbity toilet in real life only in Ohio. And it gets better. In a world more connected than ever, you have the biggest loneliness epidemic we've ever seen. Gen Z has a loneliness problem. Gen Z is the loneliest generation in America. You look lonely. I can fix that. The cause for this is undeniable. What the? Was it Kindred? Nation in America. You look lonely. I can fix that. The cause for this is undeniable. No, that's not Kindred. About she future, doesn't have a line like that. Overstimulation and social media. But instead of addressing these issues, Gen Z were often referred okay. to thugging it out and coping. People rarely go out like they used to, and the majority of interactions are online. And as a result, you have millions upon millions of people with no one to talk to or find real connection with. Gen Z is resorting to living on TikTok or in the metaverse or even finding AI girlfriends. Uh, the AI that girlfriends. Was a lot to take in. But what does all of that even mean? Well, it's not looking good. You have a generation. I'm telling you, chat, the AI girlfriends, they're coming for you. If you like it or not, chat, the AI girlfriends are coming for you. ...that can't focus, which leads to worse academic results, with many Americans unable to point out their own country on a map. And then this, by extension, leads to greater unemployment rates, with millions already... Did you just say with a lot of them not being able to point out their country on a map? Which leads to worse academic results, with many Americans unable to. Americans, okay. No mind. He's just talking about Americans. On map, Never mind and then, then. This, by extension, leads to greater unemployment rates, <laughs> with millions already hating the system and not Sorry. wanting to work at all. <laughs> then from that, you have people exclusively making their opinions from TikToks or comment sections online, from taking down the deep state and the Matrix to fueling propaganda and cancel culture, with all sides of the coin having no real clue what they are defending. <laughs> People are putting their beliefs exclusively on what big tech companies force to them in algorithms for 10 hours a day. And when they're done with the outside world, they shut away, fuel their addictions, and let their life amount to nothing. But this isn't their fault. The fix isn't as simple as just turning off the phone or deleting social media. There's a lot more to it. In fact, the entire generation was already failed dirty from the again. Start. Somebody explain to me why I make over three times the federal- I've seen this. This is- He's right for this. Minimum wage, and I cannot right. afford to live. 
Now the British pound He's has right. fallen to its lowest level ever. From the CDC suggesting major problems with regard to the mental health of our adolescents. For younger generations, the cost of living has increased so much. More than it's one ridiculous. third of young people are spending much higher proportions of their income on rent. Yeah, that's so ridiculous. I have just one question. Why change? Gen Z undeniably has countless issues from their attention span, mental health, physical health, addictions, and even with false personas online, they hold a true lack of self-worth. This has been getting worse and worse by the year. But once again, why change? You see, Gen Z is aware of all of this. Everything that's in front of them, but there's no desire or need to change this. Why would you care about your addictions or bad habits if you're constantly told the world's going to end tomorrow, that you'll never be able to start a family or even buy a house? That's this is fair. part of the reason Gen Z doesn't want point. to work 70 years of their life and still not be able to afford to live. Things that have been the norm for generations have all ended with Gen Z. There is no debate. The system is broken. Education, housing, healthcare, retirement, all broken. Gen Z is at the forefront of a cultural revolution, witnessing the demise of every traditional norm. And they don't just struggle with housing and living, but also have a very different dynamic when it comes to these two Saru things. Saru Monsukif Trump. has raided the channel with five viewers. Hey Saru! Chatsu, welcome. Saru Monsukif and Raiders. Get ready for chaotic gaming adventures, tail collecting frenzy and tons of fun in the digital realm. Let's make this raid epic. Yo, oh, Saru, thank you for the raid. Hope you had fun in your stream. Can we get a shout out for Saru? Can we, can we, get, a, can we get a shout out for Saru, please? We're just watching the video how society has failed Gen Z right now. Both parents being forced to work in order to live, which overall leads to less time the family has with each other, which by extension leads to breakup and divorce, making the single parent household all too common. And it gets worse. If the family is not raising the kids, well, the education system has them covered. You would have uh, colleges uh, have slash. to adapt to a digital world. They've ignored creative and entrepreneurial advancements and instead are stuck living in the past, leading to kids being unprepared for the real world. So with no one raising the generation, people are developing all their thoughts and morals on social media from TikTok influencers or people like Andrew Tate. Something has to happen, which the Matrix has not prepared itself for. Once again, creating further divide and leaving all the power with big tech companies. And now let's say you're a fluke in the system and you stop rotting in your bed and get up and somehow land a job well Make you still eggs. wouldn't be able to get a house rents are astronomically high and mortgages used to take three to four years to save up for but now instead it's 10 plus years oh to my never. god this leaves <laughs> yeah. gen z literal grown adults 24 25 year olds living with their parents mm -hmm. as it's not feasible to move out so what do you i need to make a poll i need to make a poll about this i need to know who if you're still living with your parents or not, like, let me make a poll. Um, where is it? Manage poll. You. Do you still live with your parents? Yes. No. Start. Here you go, chat. Here you go. What are you gonna do with your life? And I personally when you don't. Understand all of this, there's no shock that Gen Z has a deep rooted desire to hate the system they've been told to follow, with many romanticizing the idea of living off grid in a van or a log cabin somewhere. Now, this may be satire, but it highlights the severity of the situation Gen Z has been placed in. The hatred for the system is further fueled by economic instability as inflation erodes the value of money, whilst income stays the same, driving rates of crime, fraud, and depression. So, I ask again. Why change? Mm. Gen Z cannot afford to live, nor can they afford to retire 50 years down the line. The world is falling to bits with Western nations like the UK and USA collapsing, and with constant fear-mongering, multiple wars, and no hope for the future, can you really blame Gen Z for being no. on that damn phone? No, you can't. Huh, that's odd. <laughs> Gentlemen! 
you see, I would love to give the verdict that it's all going to be okay, or you've just got to follow this simple fix. Either all workarounds have been patched April 2024, or I don't find this to be the case. I was born in 2005, a Gen Zer myself. I'm meant to wake up every day and work towards something that is strictly unobtainable in the current climate of the world. And as I said earlier, Gen Z isn't blind to the chaos unfolding around them. They're aware of the economy, the unaffordable housing, and it's the ridiculous prospects though. for the future. And yet amidst the rubble of broken dreams and shattered norms, yes, there may be millions glued to technology and addictions in the realm of bliss ignorance, but there's also a flicker of defiance a refusal to accept the status quo. People do want change, and in ways the world's never seen before, Gen Z can create that change. But this won't be easy. Gen Z isn't just battling political issues or the relentless scroll of social media, but also far more extreme factors. From the rise of artificial intelligence and automation that can soon take the jobs of millions. I try to convince people to slow down, slow down AI, to regulate AI worsening unemployment, mm. digitization, and the generation's mental health. But don't worry, it's not just Gen Z that has to fix this issue alongside all the other issues I've raised. No! It's everyone. Yes! Because if there's one thing that stood prominent over the last decade, is there are many odds that need to be defied. The future of Gen Z is no exception. This is the revolution of a generation, and it's only just begun. I've been Tom Hayden, thank you for watching. If you want to support me, be sure to subscribe and engage with this video as this is a new YouTube channel. And of course, cool. have a great day. Yeah, show them some support. Really good video. He was completely right though. Obviously you can't uh, offer a solution. Spitting facts on one piece. <laughs> Obviously he can't offer a solution because none of us can.